Hi everybody, it's Veteran Detail Channel again. Today's subject is how to remove a clear bra, an old clear bra, safely. Now I've made a previous video of this, but it's now about three or four years old, and um, it's been a very successful video. It's been watched a thousands of times by various people. What I wanted to do though was, was give a little bit more meat on the bones of how to remove a clear bra safely. Now there are various methods and a lot of comments on that previous video were about oh you can just steam it off or use a scraper. Well with an old clear bra it's basically been baked on there in the sunshine and with a red vehicle or a dark maroon vehicle because that colour absorbs more ultraviolet light than any other colour that clear bra on there looks absolutely awful. So it's all gone hard, it's gone brittle. So what we're going to do today is show you how to remove it and remove it safely. We're going to be using a tried and trusted method which I've used now for a number of years, which is a 3M pinstripe wheel. Now with a pinstripe wheel, they come in various varieties or various types and obviously various price points. If you look at them on Amazon, and I'll put the link below, there are a number of pinstripe wheels or, or decal removal wheels, whatever you want to call them, and they probably range from around $13 all the way up to, around, to sometimes $40 or $50. The more expensive ones, the 3M wheel, which is the one I prefer actually, what it's giving you is a much softer compound, so it's far more gentle on the paint. When you're trying to remove that clear bra, because it's slightly softer, it will grip hold of that, a little bit more you'll get a little bit more sort of surface tension from it without damaging the paint some of those cheaper wheels although yes they're a much better price the only problem is if you're going to do this and you're going to do it on a light colored vehicle sometimes that darker color on that wheel will actually transfer into the paint and then you've got a whole problem then of trying to get that color out of your paint which can be a pain in the butt. I know because obviously from painful experience of trying to save some money buying a cheaper wheel. Either way, once you've got your wheel going and you attach it to the drill, so what you have here is a normal battery operated drill, the one with the different torque settings on it. And the reason we use a battery operated drill is because you can control the speed. If you have that, if you don't have a variable drill and you're trying to do this with a normal sort of 110 volt or 240 volt drill, if you're in the UK, 110 volts if you're in the US, if you plug that into your wall socket, then that power is going through there, you've got no way of controlling the speed. So the ideal is to have a battery operated drill, one where you can dial down the torque setting. The ideal is to dial down that torque setting to around number seven or number eight. You want that wheel to spin on itself back onto the clear bra. But basically as this peels back, there will be some adhesive residue which is left behind on the paint. Now with that adhesive residue, we will be taking it off with something like any kind of adhesive remover. So effectively what we use is a product called Calsolve, which is from Car Beauty Pro. You can do a very similar thing of cleaning up all the residue with Goof Off or Goo Gone. Anything which is, you know, a sticky, one of those sticky label remover type adhesive removers. So we're going to carry on now all the way down to this panel. Once I get up over this lip, it's then a straight run basically all the way across the hood. The only thing is that straight run will probably take me at least two to three hours and quite a few battery changes on this. So what we'll be doing here is actually speeding up the whole process with a time-lapse video. So stay with it and here we go. So what you notice here is that I've actually lifted the, the latch on the hood to create a gap so I'm not hitting this panel underneath whilst I'm just trying to get along this edge. So notice here, what I've got to do now, because I've, I, have this I have this little lip running along on this edge. So if I've got my wheel going this way, then the wheel is actually going down over the top of where that is. So I now need to change direction on my pinstripe wheel and get it to spin so it comes up underneath from this direction up underneath the clear bra. So 
So you see now by changing direction what it's done, it's peeled that clear bra upwards on top of the hood. So you can, as we say before, change the direction of travel on your drill or on the wheel to then go off in different angles. Just choose your direction of travel. The ideal, as I said all the time, is to get this wheel spinning and spinning back on itself back onto the tape. So whether it's coming this way or going that way, that's two opposite directions. So with going in two opposite directions, you will then need to change the direction of travel on your pinstripe wheel. So going back to this side, So now that we have the majority of all of this side off, you see the line now that was created by moving in a completely different direction by letting the wheel spin that way so it comes up underneath the tape from, from this direction. What we're going to do now is we're now going to change direction and then we're going to come from here. As the wheel spins, what it does here is it peels back onto the actual clear bra. So by spinning in that direction, let me just try and get this little corner out. So once we get under this corner, it should then be a straight run all the way across the front of this hood. So you notice now that you've got a few of these marks which are in the paint, that will all, uh, that's mainly just the adhesive. So what is putting those marks in the paint, don't be worried, because they will all polish out. But if we, you have these marks on there, the majority of that is just sticky residue from the glue which has been left behind as that wheel spins. So once it starts to spin, and then you end up with basically softened plastic. What the wheel is doing as it spins, it is, creating friction along this top line, it's then creating that ability to peel back on itself, it softens the clear bra, because this is old and gnarly, it's been on there for years and years and years, so as it peels back, it softens it, and then it draws it down onto itself, so constantly you're just peeling that edge back all of the time. So you can go in sections, if you go all the way up to, I would say, where this groove is here in the panel, so we're going to be doing this section first. So I'm going to show you that in real time and then we'll speed things up. The remainder of this panel then, we're all the way along, will be done with a time lapse just to speed up the whole video. Uh, if you want to tune in for four hours, <laughs> then you can do, but uh, we'd rather that you just watch the process and then you'll have enough time to then get on with taking your old dirty clear bra from your vehicle as well. So here we go, let's carry on all the way along this line. During this video, if you're getting value from it, then don't forget to, normal things, smash the like button, press the notification bell, and consider subscribing to our channel. So as you can see, what we're left with now that we have removed all of the clear bra is the glue, which is still evident on the surface. So we've still got the residue of all that glue, which we now need to remove. Now there will still be small elements or small little particles of clear bra left over. So once you do start removing it with the glue, then that's what happens is it becomes much clearer. And what we've got there is a definitive line between fresh paint and then as we move up beyond that line where the clear bra was, that is where the remainder of that paint has obviously got all of those marks and everything in there over wear and tear over the years. So underneath the clear bra, it's relatively good paint. 
there shouldn't really be any reason why all of that paint isn't effectively brand new because it's been covered up all of the time. So yes, it does look awful, it does look trashed at the moment, but what we're going to do now is clean all this up with our solvent. And the residue which was left behind from all of that clear bra is it's just like a, a powdery residue, little bits of little bits of plastic. So that's what's been left behind and is all over the front, all over the floor. So what we're going to do now is carry on cleaning this. So we're now going to apply our solvent, the CalSolve product from Car Beauty Pro. What this does, it then breaks down any more glue residue which has been left behind on the surface. So what we do is we wipe it off with a microfiber towel. It doesn't have to be the best microfiber towel in the world because it's just there to pick up the glue residue. So as we start to wipe that off, what is left behind is a few of the more stubborn pieces of clear bra. The most difficult part is obviously within this groove where you've got this body line. There's a few bits still sort of stuck in there. You can peel them out with your finger. Just tease them off there with your fingernail. Some of the more stubborn parts we'll have to use the wheel again. So what we're going to do is obviously remove the majority of this glue. So the majority of all that sticky residue is now off. Let's just go back over and tease off any of these bits of clear bra that's still stuck on the surface of the paint. So you see these odd pieces that are still on the surface. With the wheel, just go back over the top of those. So the last few bits you can probably just pick off with your fingernail and then once you've got those off and you've got a nice clean surface our next task is obviously to now match this quite good looking paint which is here which has been hiding under that clear bra for years above it where you've got the definitive line where that clear bra was that paint is quite hammered or it's got quite a lot of scratches and surface scratches in it. What we're going to do now is we're now going to try and even this out. So we've now got to make this paint on this side as, uh, as good as this stuff down here. So we're going to go through that polishing process. I'll carry on now removing all of this sticky residue from the remainder. And then when you come back, we'll then go through the whole polishing process of how to blend this top part of the hood section with the good quality paint which is underneath. Realistically, what we're looking for is just a uniform finish throughout the whole of this hood. So as you've seen there, it's quite a simple process to carry out. It is time consuming, although it is safe. So, with all the information that we have here, and those specific tools, your drill, your pinstripe wheel, your adhesive remover, yes, you can remove an old clear bra safely. So the whole aim of the Veteran Detail Channel is to educate and obviously give you an insight into the detailing world. More importantly with these how-to videos, it's so that you can operate this or you can do these operations or these little sort of minor fixes to your own vehicle and do it in a safe manner. If you've got any questions at all, then don't forget to, to drop those into the comments section. Down below you will see the links to those products that we've been using today. With that, yes, I get a little bit of a commission from a sale, but it's absolute peanuts. I think I've made about $200 in four years. So, you know, it's not, I'm never gonna break the bank. However, obviously as part of YouTube's policies, I will be very honest that if you are going to operate a link down below, then yes, YouTubers do get paid from that link and obviously advertising revenue. We're not at 1,000 subscribers yet, so I don't get any ad money either. However, if you do get any value from this video, then please press the like button. 
Don't forget to press the notification bell and then subscribe to our channel. That will then give you any notifications of when our next video is online. So there you have it, clear bra removal safely. Just take your time, use the right tools, have some patience, and then you'll end up with a finish which looks just like this. See, all very shiny, all very nice, and now it's blended, and then we can see, or there is evidence, that clear bra was never there in the first place. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.